Hey, what's up, guys? It's Josh here. I just want to do a top 10 list today on the top best Armav fragrances of 2020. And there isn't like one secret fragrance I got to show you. That's number one. There's a few new ones. Probably about half the list is mixed up from my last year's list. We're not including anything that is technically discontinued. So we'll get into that as well. Let's not waste any time. Let's jump right into the honorable mentions. Armov's Craze, and that's not in this list only because it's discontinued. Armov's Craze would probably be in round number three or four in this list. Boy Stui, I got beat out by another fragrance on this list. That's why I don't have it up here. And also Le Parfait, that's another one that I didn't get out. Actually, I see it right here. But Le Parfait, that's another one that's in my honorable mentions. Honorable mentions, uh, Armov's Craze, Armov's Boy Stui, and Armov's Le Parfait. All three of those are very good. Let's jump right into number 10. Number 10, Armov's Club de Nuit Man. Not to be confused with Club de Nuit Intense Man, the really, really famous one from Armov. I'm pretty sure anybody who smelled this fragrance, most of the time they don't really like it or have too many good things to say about it, considering Club de Nuit Intense Man covers a niche fragrance that's one of the most popular niche fragrances and actually gives you kind of a, a gateway into what that smells like. So I could see why this kind of being a somewhat of a 1 million style fragrance, people wouldn't like it. For some reason, I just really, really like this guys. It's probably a little toned down versus 1 million. The only negative I could say is that it smells like 1 million. I don't really have anything to say bad about this one. And the biggest thing that holds it back is that it has similarities to 1 million, but there's no overly sweet qualities or overly rough qualities with this one. I just really, really like it. Club Dino Wee Man, number 10. Number nine, our Moth's Trace. Nui. Now, I really love Trace Nui, Tre Nui, whatever you want to call it. Um, Tre Nui is very, very good, in my opinion. Very, very solid. Covers Green Irish Tweed. I have very good, strong clone to that. Besides the very opening of Green Irish Tweed, smells pretty much exactly the same. Timeless scent. But there was another fragrance on this list that I kind of liked more that shares a little bit of this DNA. So that one beat it out. But I mean, it's so hard not to recognize how good this fragrance is. For a lot of people, this is going to be high up there. And this just kind of goes to show you how strong this list and how many good or more exist out there in my opinion and again I'm a younger kind of guy so this is more of a timeless scent that anybody could wear and Green Irish Tweed's been around I'm pretty sure since the 80s so it's been around for a while I still really like it Armov's Train to Weed number nine all right guys number eight one that kind of climbed up the list very very fast El Silo by Armov I'm pretty sure it means in heaven in Spanish great name for a fragrance it's a very very good fragrance guys in my opinion it smells a lot like Invictus more bubblegummy more sweet than the Invictus Aqua useful but again it copies somewhat of like a designer fragrance Some people aren't really super super into paying for copies of designer fragrances so you're paying you know pretty much close to what you pay for the original for a clone people kind of want more of niche fragrances when it comes to this but this is very solid very smooth no negatives no rough parts about it again one of the only problems is that it smells uh, like Invictus, and I do think Invictus is going to get you a little more compliments than something like 1 million, so that's why I give this an 8. Again, very, very solid, and it kind of goes to show you how strong these are moths are. So I'm pretty sure somebody just getting into fragrances would have a field day and just absolutely love El Silo, and that is his only number 8, so that shows you how good this list is. Number 7, one that really, really shocked me. I had a lot of good things to say about it in my review, and I have a lot of good things to say about it now. Number 7 are Mavs Evoke Man. Man, I really just like this fragrance, guys. Uh, I said it in my review. You could go ahead and watch it one of my recent videos in my opinion it smells like a little bit of a tuned up version of green irish tweed this is my favorite green irish tweed clone from our moth again i have my own taste so i could see a lot of people maybe liking the original fragrance because this definitely goes away from the green irish tweed smell it pretty much takes about 10 to 20 percent of like a normal style blue musky fragrance and you put it into here so it still smells overall like green irish tweed but it's a little bit more modernized and a little different it got a very good projection um and very interesting when i sprayed it a lot i was getting a lot of little whiffs but at the same time it's not a maximum projector either one of my favorites it go, kind of goes for that timeless style smell while going almost a little bit youthy at the same time I enjoy this one our mobs evoke man number seven number six the one that beat out el silo our moth rixos now in my opinion our moth rixos and el silo are right down the middle this one kind of goes over goes for more of an invictus aqua kind of smell i really really like this fragrance guys it kind of is unfortunate that the, this smells so similar to el silo because it kind of made it 
fight and kind of made the list a little bit more aggressive than I wanted to. If you can get your hands on this one, it's good. I don't know if this is technically discontinued, and if it is, I shouldn't use it in this um, list, but I'm pretty sure I just did a review, and it's about $30 on eBay when I was checking. Kind of goes after that Invictus Aqua style smell. And sometimes our mobs, when they'll go after fragrances, they'll be something that's off-putting or rough or something I just don't like coming from the fragrance DNA, and I get nothing with that. Super smooth, super enjoyable. Not too many people have reviewed this one. I really, really enjoy it. Hopefully it's not discontinued because then it should have not been on this list, but super solid. Number six, Armoff Rixos. All of these were super hard for me to pick. I just want to say it was kind of like a nail biter. Number five on my favorite Armoff fragrances is Armoff's Derby Clubhouse Gold. I really, really do like Armoff's Derby Clubhouse Gold. The reason that this fragrance probably isn't higher, even higher than a number five, is because it copies, I'm pretty sure, Mont Blanc Legend intense which is kind of like a spin of the Abercrombie and Fitch fierce DNA which has been done pretty much to death and it is a designer scent both those are designer scents I would kind of kind of bump it down for that but this stuff guys super high quality a lot of projection and longevity one of the higher projectors for something with that kind of a smell I remember I got a compliment several hours after I didn't smell anything on this when I was going and getting some food and I definitely smell huge amounts of it right away a luxurious rich smell it's definitely not as transparent as something like fierce it is more thick and rich and luxurious and I really really like it it's definitely a compliment getter the only reason I guess it wouldn't be a little bit higher than this like I was saying is because it goes after a designer style fragrance which I'm kind of docking a lot for this if it goes after a niche style fragrance that's only in the niche world score it more points so our mobs derby clubhouse with gold I couldn't go any higher than five although five is super super commendable for how good this list is in my opinion number five derby clubhouse gold it's number four derby clubhouse silver it's a derby party derby clubhouse silver goes after creed silver mountain water which is a niche fragrance a lot of designer fragrances don't copy this style fragrance so that's really the reason that it beat out something like derby clubhouse gold i will say derby clubhouse gold has kind of like a better smell it has nothing really off-putting it has a lot better projection this stuff copies the silver mountain water smell but up close it is rough there are so little bit of weird rough vibes that i get from this that occur in a lot more of the musky fruity style arm mobs than anything else and that's kind of what this is silver mountain water is kind of like this metallic fruity green tea style fragrance it's actually really enjoyable you could wear it in almost any season because it kind of fits the warm and it kind of fits the cold at the same time in my opinion and this one isn't higher because of that rough vibe and it barely beat out our mobs derby clubhouse gold but I would say Arm Off Survey Clubhouse Gold smells cleaner and lasts a lot longer. So I just want to put that in there. But the reason this one won is because it copies a niche fragrance that is going to cost a lot more money. So for that reason, it's going to be number four. Arm Off Survey Clubhouse Silver. Number three, my number one from last year. I know a lot of people hate this, but our mobs Ventana. This one is totally beaten up. I had this one sitting in my car for a little while. But people have told me it's been reformulated. A lot of people just didn't agree with my decision. But this smells 100% like Dior Sauvage. It goes after that fruity musky style DNA and I know this is a designer scent it's such a high compliment getter when I wore it it smells 100% like Dior Sauvage I don't know if it's been discontinued or if they reformulated it let me know down below I think some of the musky fruity armoves have an off-putting vibe and there's no off-putting vibe with this one the only negative is that it goes after Dior Sauvage a super popular smell but it's such a likable smell if you put enough good ingredients into the fragrance I just think it's, it's a compliment getter and I really really enjoy it one of my highest recommended still but like I was saying, let me know if it's changed at all down below. Number three, Armov's Ventenna. Number two, I've hyped this one a lot. This one's always been at the top of my Armov list for a good reason. I really, really enjoy it. I still do Armov's Hunter Intense. The reason that this one beat out some of the other ones is probably because it goes after a little bit more of its own smell. This kind of dances, in my opinion, a little bit between Sauvage, a little bit between Invictus, and a little bit between this white floral fragrance. Maybe it copies another fragrance to you. I, I don't really know, but I smell a little bit of white floors, a little bit of Invictus, and a little bit of Sauvage. It is a little bit of its own smell. That's the reason that it's so high up there. It just dances between so many likable fragrances. It's so cheap. It's really hard not to put this one as high as it is, and I really do think it deserves a solid number two. Again, for mainly the uniqueness, the only thing I could say is it can be a tad, tad, tad bit rough. It doesn't last forever. It lasts very good, a good amount of time and that's pretty much it and then it goes after designer fragrances those little three things but besides that it's very good very unique just a solid fragrance overall can't really say too much bad about it for um, a cheap fragrance and you're going to smell unique while at the same time utilizing fragrance notes that people like so much 
So anyways, the number two are moths, Hunter and Tense. I know you're gonna hate me for this one. You should already know it's number one because I haven't talked about it yet. But if you really wanted me to make a top 10, you really wanted me to be honest, I gotta be honest. Sometimes the best stays the best for a long time. And that number one is our moths, Club Dinoe and Tense Man, the Creed Aventus clone. <laughs> So apparently in about 2018, they made this really bad and people didn't like it. And then apparently it got better again. I had the original fragrance, the silver cap version. I've, I've always enjoyed it. I got this one. I noticed a little bit of dip in performance, but it still works very good. It still delivers the compliments, still projects a long time, still lasts a long time. This is just the number one, the best one I'd recommend to anybody. But anyways, guys, Club Dinoe, Intense Man, taking number one again. What's really a surprise there? Let me know what you think of the video. Let me know what your favorite Armav is. Let me know if you still like Club Dinoe, Intense Man. I know that there's that new copy for this one. I forget, it's got that weird name. I'll try it out very, very soon. I appreciate you guys so much for watching the video. You guys are the absolute best. None of this could be possible without you guys. We're on the road to 25,000 subscribers, and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully, you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.